It's important that we don't use helping as a way so that we ourselves don't feel vulnerable or helpless. I have seen that often and I think I have made this mistake myself uh, very often too, this trap where when someone comes and, and is being really vulnerable and honest with what they are going through that there's this part of me that immediately wants to suggest a solution and have you already thought of this and that. Here's the link you can follow. I have tried this and that. Why don't you do that? It's kind of relieves us of this feeling of helplessness and we don't, it's, it's like an escape, you know, we, we can immediately jump into helping mode instead of just really sitting with someone else's pain and being a witness. And in my own experience, actually, the thing that often in times when, when there's a real shit show happening that helps the most is people who are actually willing and able to be with what I'm going through and vice versa. I really believe we need to be more on eye level. And even if you are in one of those helping professions, yes, you're a healer maybe, or you're a coach or an empath. I think those times where we are the one that's got everything together and then is helping the other person, that's over. We need to be more on eye level, which means we need to be willing to be vulnerable ourselves. I can tell you that if I was to choose another healer or another coach for what I'm dealing with, I don't care so much whether you've got it together. I want to have someone authentic. I want to have someone who's actually honest with me and who tells me, I don't know whether I can make this better for you, which you don't, but I'm going to hold your hand and we can do this together. And look, here are my struggles. I personally have come to the point, I trust the people the most who do know what they are doing, but are authentic at the same time. I give you an example. I'm following Dr. Ramani and her healing program for narcissistic abuse. And I'm really loving what she's doing because she knows what she's doing she's an expert but she always shares her own personal stories and is willing to make herself vulnerable i really feel she's walking together with the people and not coming from this place of let me help you and so i do believe Another way to put this really is how I started is that there is, um, or did I say that? I'm not sure, but there is, a, you could distinguish between being caring versus helping immediately. Caring for me really means that you pause for a minute before you jump in and maybe ask what it is the other person needs. Do they need a hug? Do they need some advice? Do they need you just being there for them? And then they can decide and come back to you. I would like to finish with that I wish that we all become more caring and take a pause before we immediately jump in with wanting to fix things for another person. That's been Anja Kersten from Magic World life coach and artist.